Welcome back to my channel. It is Pluto of Pluto's Muse. How are you? Um, before we actually get into your monthly read, I have a public service announcement um, or a Pluto service announcement. Uh, this is going to be an update on what's going on with the monthly read. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting um or i assume <laughs> you probably have been waiting for the monthly readings however there are going to be some changes that i'm making um especially now that aries is in the north node i know you guys probably felt the shift because i definitely felt the shift um but i'm in a space where i'm trying to make sure that i put myself first all right and i know that everybody else is in this energy as well a lot of people are trying to make sure that they got themselves you got your own back you know you're making sure you are good um and making sure you're good so when you interact with other people you are at your highest vibration and you feel good things like that and personally when it comes down to the monthly reads and just individual readings in general a lot of you guys who have followed me since the beginning of my page um know that i did daily reads at one point in time or individual horoscopes at one point in time I stopped doing those <laughs> and the reason being is because it takes a lot of energy to channel each individual sign there's 12 signs in the zodiac um, 13 signs if you believe in um, sidereal astrology but there's 12 signs in the um, tropical zodiac and the amount of signs that you channel um, with the continuous themes and all of those things can become very draining um not only is it draining but even down to the in individual reads that i've done on my page previously if you check out the videos a lot of those videos are hours long like an hour long so imagine 12 hours of filming even maybe a little more 12 hours of filming and then extra hours on top of that of editing and my whole day a couple days um are basically gone without me even getting to experience my own personal um you know my own personal enjoyment out of life like I'm really trying to enjoy my life right now I'm sure we all are trying to um enjoy our lives so because of this I am going to opt out and choose to do elemental reads so I will cover each element water fire earth and air um and you can check out each read for each element that you feel is necessary, whatever placements you have in your chart, your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Um, but I'm only going to do readings for the elements and then I'm going to cover any like extra um, information on my Patreon. All right. So I will be launching my Patreon in the month of August. On the Patreon, I will include exclusive pick a cards, exclusive uh, collective reads, exclusive 18 plus content, um, as well as another portion of the monthly read. So um, how I operated on the monthly reads previously, I did career, love and an overall energy for the month. Um, but I am going to choose to do just the overall energy here on YouTube. And then on Patreon, I will possibly do individual um, readings or just again, an elemental read on the money and love portion for each sign. All right. Um, and, and I know some of you guys are probably like, damn, I love the individual reads. And honestly, I love looking into each individual sign as well. It's very interesting for me. However, um, there are other really great tarot readers on YouTube who do hour long readings and who also um, cover for each sign, individual signs. So, of course, support whoever you'd like to support um i'd ap appreciate your support absolutely um but again if like what it is that i'm putting out isn't enough there's always other sources to look into but for what it is that i will end up putting out um i will genuinely try to make sure that the messages resonate that they're clear that they're honest of course nothing but honesty on this page and i'm gonna try to also make sure that they kind of hit enough areas um whether it's through the oracles or through just the tarot hit enough areas so that you can at least if you don't even join my patreon you can take away something from it that will help you um 
feel a little bit more confident moving forward in your month. Okay, that's all that I got. <laughs> that's all that I have. So, of course, I'll let you guys know when the when the August readings come out, um, what my Patreon information is and things like that. Um, but outside of that, I hope you enjoy the message. Um, I hope you continue enjoying the content. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful next month <laughs> in August and for the rest of the year. I hope you have a wonderful month. Um, so I'll talk to you guys in a second. Keep watching. Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius placements. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sure you already watched the clip in the beginning where I'm talking about how I'm making these changes to the monthly reads. I hope that you guys enjoy this reading. If you do, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're going to try to get straight into the read. Um, for this read as well, I know I brought up the fact that I'm going to do um, extra content on Patreon, but not this month just yet. It's going to be August when I do that. So this reading will just be on here. And then any further like content that I put on Patreon, I will uh, inform you guys about it. <laughs> I'm trying to go straight in. I'm trying to go straight in. Let's see. What is up with my air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for the end of July? End of July for my air signs, spirit. What do they need to hear right now? What messages are important? Should I take it? They said, yeah. Winter, take care of your needs. Ooh. Winter time may be significant. Look, ooh. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. Some of you guys are very creative. Some of you guys are entrepreneurs. Some of you guys are artists. Some of you are magicians. Some of you are master manifestors. Take care of your needs is giving me winter. So all the winter signs, of course, you're born in the winter time. But winter signs are Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces may be relevant to this reading. Some of you are in a season of being a lone wolf. All right. Or you're dealing with someone like this, but this could definitely be your energy. You are in the season of focusing on yourself or you need to embody that type of energy. You also have auger mastery. Love it. Auger. Auger came up in that first read that I ever did. Smoke prayers. Some of you guys, your prayers are about to be answered. Let's look at auger. Somebody in this reading could be 28, 29. This message says, it says, Augur, mastery. The ancients would often make homage to a wise person, such as an augur, to receive insight and messages in order to take appropriate action. You, however, are not required to do so, as spirit calls you to step into your own sacred space and call upon the augur within. I hope every time that I'm saying this word right. I don't know if I am. Um, it says, here you will find strength and a wisdom that will lead you towards mastery of the self. Okay. It says, as you tread this path of the chosen few, embrace the gifts that are bestowed upon you. Develop, the, develop and hone your natural abilities in order to share the message that spirit has for you and others. This is your calling. It is time to stop fighting and to acknowledge who you are. The auger understands the mastery of acceptance. It's time for you to do just that. The incantation of this card says, I finally let my ego go. It does not serve me. And now I know that my pride comes before a fall. This I must master of all. I'm sorry. This, <laughs> this I must master most of all. All right. Ego and pride are coming into play. It says you are a gifted medium, period. Don't be afraid of your natural connection with spirit. Listen to your calling, time for self-realization, practice transcendental meditation. You have a natural sixth sense, sixth sense, <laughs> time to trust. All right. Some of you guys have seen the sixth sense. Do you know that movie with Bruce Willis? I'm also getting to some of you need to know that there could have been some issues recently or in the month of July or by the end of July during this time period before we move into August. Also, there is a full moon in Aquarius in the beginning of August, which is very exciting. Prepare yourself. Um, hopefully we can pick up on some energies around that in this reading. But 
some of you guys could have had some issues when it came to pride and ego in the past or something's going on here when it comes to your pride and ego your guides are letting you know they want you to go within they have answers for you they have messages for you this is a time where you need to take care of your needs you need to prioritize yourself you need to go within either this is your energy or this is somebody else's energy all right somebody else could be in this energy with you But I'm really getting it's you. I'm really getting that this is your energy. Some of you are being told to go within or you are being told to do this at the end of July. Yes, look at that. Religion and spirituality. Some of you guys are being told to go within by the end of July or during July because you were meant to get closer to your beliefs. Possibly so you could figure out what you wanted to retire. Yeah, some of you guys may have been trying to leave a job, relationship, old habits, old things behind, an old version of yourself behind. And in order for you to do that, you needed to heal from the past. You may be doing this by going within, connecting more to your spirituality. Whoa, my throat kind of got blocked. Some of you guys could be having issues with your throat chakra. All right, let's see. Ooh, damn coherent some of you guys are born on the 13th somebody could be 13 um, somebody else is born on the 13th or somebody's born in april this could be a taurus or aries that is significant in this reading it says the frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire some of you guys are taking the time to go within so you can find a balance between your head and your heart you may have been operating out of one or the other um, most recently. You also have compassion at the bottom. Yeah, some of you guys are being told to be more compassionate with yourself, with others. Um, but 15 may be significant. Somebody could be 15, born on the 15th. Somebody could be also be born in June. That is Cancer and Gemini energy. It says the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world you want to know what's crazy unconditional love has been a consistent theme throughout all of these readings some of you guys are meant to become uh gurus or teachers or healers for other people all right if you're not already the clock says 848 i'll put that angel number on the screen if you're not already I'm also getting to some of you guys are learning like about this while you're in solitude, like you're figuring out what you want to do or you're learning from some sort of uh, auger, someone that's already an auger communication. All right. Your throat chakra is significant this month. Look at this compassion again. Communication and compassion, speaking with compassion, minding how you speak to people. Um, what do they say? Watch your words or, yeah, just watching your words is important here. Um, 15, 5. All right. Somebody could be born on May because that's 5. May the 15th. All right. I think that's a Taurus. I don't know. <laughs> could be Taurus or Gemini. I believe so. Um, but communication is coming up as a significant throat chakra. That's why I got that weird throat chakra feeling in my throat. Maybe some of you guys are having a hard time with speaking compassionately or being, uh, you know, communicating with someone. Maybe telling someone about how you feel. Let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The month of july end of july i'm gonna try to make this energy relevant to the end of july because um we're at the end <laughs> we're at the end now i actually had already filmed a couple videos i didn't get to uh i got to gemini and i also got to did i get to libra i actually think i did get to libra um but i like when the node switched I had no energy for any other read <laughs> for no more of the individual reads. I was like, let me just film everything over again. Some of you guys are feeling like that. Some of you guys are like, let me clean the slate. Like you want a clean slate. All right. Now I'm feeling that. 
I didn't even ask anything, but this card came out in reverse. This also came up in the water sign read. You have five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody, the overall energy of the month right now is somebody coming out of the cold or somebody um, getting over a period of feeling like they didn't have enough. Maybe somebody's finances are being fixed right now or somebody wants to come out of the cold or something like this. You have a uh, Libra at the bottom of the deck with this justice card. Somebody could be going through some form of karma or something legally. Um, but it is this energy here of somebody feeling disappointed. I'm going to put this back actually though because I didn't get the overall energy. What's the overall energy for my air signs end of july Ooh. okay this is what I'm, i wanted something positive you got the ace of cups all right so you got the ace of cups the two of wands some of you guys are looking out for new love or new opportunities some of you are also looking at new ways to love yourself all right new ways to love yourself maybe new ways to look at the world in a more loving space from a more loving space you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gem not oof. Could be another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you um are dating someone at a distance, or you're looking at love at a distance. You could be dating online. This could be online dating. Some of you could be taking a trip or thinking about a trip, planning a trip. Alright, what is my air signs energy at this time? four of pentacles this came up in the earth sign read wow some of you are saving money for a trip saving money in general this came up in reverse temperance in reverse okay you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn um sagittarius what's my air signs energy Ooh. you got the king of swords in reverse some of you guys are very impatient, all right, or you're feeling this way right now. Some of you guys aren't feeling balanced right now. Um, temperance in reverse also gives me like hot headed. Some of you guys are feeling pretty hot headed, especially King of Swords in reverse. I actually really, you know, this isn't the best card to get in reverse. And I'm not judging y'all if you if you're in this energy, but in reverse, either this is your energy. You could be dealing with another air sign. Either this is your energy or this is somebody that you're dealing with. Again, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But somebody is in a very harsh space. For one thing, I, one thing that I'm picking up on is some of you guys aren't talking to someone. All right. But another thing that I'm picking up on is some of you guys are like holding back or being cold or um to me king of swords in reverse can also be a bit like um you know like egoic like this ego thing that they're talking about it's like it's giving it's giving to me like a little narcissistic i almost didn't want to say it <laughs> i almost didn't want to say it i almost didn't want to say it but because i feel like that's a stereotype i feel like a lot of air signs get the notion that they're being narcissistic because they're cold but this is coming up y'all i'm picking up on something here where you guys could be coming off a bit cold or manipulative or hot-headed um could even be stubborn some of you guys are coming off very stubborn in the month of july or at the end of july yeah you could be pulling back from people you could be ghosting people maybe you're doing Maybe you're pulling back from people so you can figure out how you feel, how you want to move forward. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with some sort of fire sign or a cancer, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You also have Pisces, Aquarius here. I feel like some of you guys are trying to figure out what you want to do next because you're waiting on someone. You're waiting to figure out where you're headed next or you're, waited to fi you're waiting to figure out where you want to go. All right, maybe you're waiting on someone else. Why is the hermit card here? You could be a Virgo with air placements. Yeah, some of you guys are trying to figure out what type of leap of faith you want to take or where you want to go, what new beginning you want. Could be dealing with an Aries as well, Virgo. You have these placements. I feel like you guys are trying to figure out what the next move is. What's the new thing? Where do you want to go? What? How do you want to, you know, expand? Some of you maybe even be looking into new religions, new belief systems. The clock says 
What's the external energy of my air signs? Whoop. All right, we'll take it. You have the sun and the tower. Whoa. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Scorpio. Something is divinely guide guided. All right. Or there's some sort of shake up, some sort of shift. There could also be some sort of revelation or um, somebody's revealing something. Why is the tower card here? What's the external energy of my air signs? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's the external energy of my air signs? Six of Wands. Some of you guys are having some sort of realization about somebody that you feel is more focused on their money or more focused on attention. Some of you guys may feel like somebody is trying to get your attention. All right. What's the six of wands about? Could be a Scorpio. Something's going on here where it's like either someone else is peeping that you've changed or you are seeing that someone else has changed. Some sort of energy has shifted between you and this person. There could be somebody outside of you that's getting attention for something. All right. Why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Some of you, this is someone you have a, a child with. All right, because both of you are coming up in reverse. Both of you could be coming off a little imbalance. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of soulmate. Wow, you have the two of cups right here with the hangman. And then at the bottom, you have the lovers. Same people. Some of you guys are waiting for this person or this person has been waiting for you. Yeah, maybe to say how you feel or you've been waiting for this person to say how they feel. Somebody's changed their perspective about this situation as well, about this connection. Why is that hangman here? Or this person's going through a spiritual awakening because of this connection. Or just in general. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not talking to this person, I do feel like this is someone that is waiting to talk to you or who's stressed out about this connection because they're trying to figure out how they want to move forward or where they want to go or what they want to do. This is someone that could either you've blocked this person or this person is feeling like they need to be on guard with you. All right. Why does this person feel like they need to be on guard? I feel like it's because you may have left this person out or they feel like they need to. Because a cycle has ended. Some sort of cycle has ended between you and this person. Or again, this is somebody at a distance. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn for me as well. At the bottom. Some sort of cycle has ended and somebody's starting a new cycle. Maybe they're going towards something new. Something from their past, possibly. All right. Something's going on here, too, when it comes to an opportunity. Hmm. Maybe it's an opportunity you both had in the past. This person's feeling like they're going to go towards some sort of opportunity. Or you are. This could actually have to do with something related to a move. All right, some of you guys have been talking about a move or traveling with this person or um, a new cycle, a new cycle you're trying to start. If this is job related, this could be someone at a job that is having some sort of realization about you. Some of you guys could have ghosted a job, like just up and left or an opportunity related to work. You just up and left because you're trying to figure out what you want to do next. Or this is like a relationship. I'm also getting to there's some sort of like epiphany here around a financial opportunity related to you 
maybe some of you guys were striving for um, or a relationship opportunity for you. Some of you guys were striving for attention in the past or like the wrong kind of attention or something like that. Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be like the wrong kind of attention. So either this is someone that's done this or this is you. You're realizing this about yourself and this is the type of change you're going through. For some of you, this energy to me is like looking like an ego death. Either you're dealing with someone that's going through an ego death or this is you. Both of you are going through one. Let's see. What's the challenge here? I'm taking these cards up. <laughs> it's in the way. What's the challenge here? Somebody could also be finding out something about a baby, a child. The challenge here is the five of swords. Okay. The two of swords. Somebody's trying to ignore some sort of like issue, a decision that needs to be made. You could be dealing with someone that I'm not getting that somebody's in a relationship or anything like that. I mean, they can be. What's this about? Why is this the challenge? Some of you guys are having a hard time with seeing the love in a situation. Maybe you do love this person. Maybe this is someone you were with, someone you had kids with, a friend, a family member, what have you. Some of you guys are having a hard time. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <laughs> some of you guys are having a hard time with seeing the love in this situation because of some sort of like, again, it's like an, it, it could either be like an issue when it comes to the ego or people, other people, other people involved. For some of you, there's a lot of people around this person outside of you or vice versa. There's some sort of conflict around the situation. There's other people involved. Yes. Somebody's having a hard time with listening to their intuition. Yeah. Because they're not completely sure about where something is headed. Or somebody isn't speaking about their feelings. Somebody's hurt about something or afraid of something and they're not speaking about their feelings. Why is the five of swords here, spirit? Ooh. Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirit? Five of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. I mean, Seven of Swords. Ooh, <laughs> it fell again. Seven of Swords. Somebody is gossiping. There's gossip here. Somebody's having a hard time with listening to their intuition because they're hearing gossip about something about someone what's the page of wands this could also be about a child yes look at this who the hell is this about somebody's hearing gossip about like a competition or arguing or conflict there's some sort of conflict that someone is hearing about or someone is there's conflict here there's gossip here and whatever type of issue that has gone on or again for some reason I'm picking up on a child I don't know if somebody has had a child outside of a relationship or if there's something going on in regards to like just an inner child or someone's child you have a child with this person there's some sort of gossip going on and it's causing some sort of rift in a connection because someone's having a hard time with listening to their intuition about this situation. All right. About whether to move forward, to end a cycle, to start a cycle.
Okay. What's the... I'm picking these up again, too. What's the advice for my air signs? Nine of Pentacles. Self-mastery is giving time to yourself. Ten of Wands. Ooh! Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all are definitely being told to, like, let go of something. Maybe baggage, an obligation to someone, to something. Could even be to a relationship. Whether this is a job, platonic, romantic, family. Some of you guys are being told to let go of your obligation to something because you have a new opportunity waiting. But there's a lot of stress here. You could be stressed out because either... Either you have these placements in your chart or somebody stressed out because they have to choose between two women or two people, two feminine energies. Doesn't have to be women. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? Oof. Ace of Pentacles, five of Pentacles as the advice. Why is this five of Pentacles here for the advice? Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, you're being told to leave a family situation out in the cold or some sort of obligation you have to family so that you can pursue something new for yourself. Now, this could also be too um, career related. It does not have to be an actual family situation. It could be something related to like a family dynamic in a career. All right. Some of you guys are being told to leave this behind or again, a friend group. Some of you guys have a family dynamic in a friend group. There's some sort of drama going on. There's like conflict or drama. With a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or someone's causing drama. Who's causing drama? A cancer. This could be a cancer masculine, doesn't have to be, but, or this person just has that type of energy. Yeah, somebody's saying something. Somebody could be saying something about you. If you took a break and you're like chilling and you're not doing anything, um, like maybe you took some time to heal, maybe you took some time to focus on yourself, somebody could have said something or somebody's saying something about you. Where it's like they don't really know you. Because for some of you guys, you're having a hard time. Either this is you or someone else's energy. Somebody's having a hard time with trying to figure out whether to entertain the drama or stay to themselves. Somebody doesn't know whether to entertain the drama or stay to themselves. Focus on their business. Hold back from a connection, hold back from a family situation, hold back from a friend group, or to focus on themselves. Or to engage in the situation. 909 is on the clock. Yeah. I'm getting right now your best advice, especially if there's like a lot of people stirring the pot, because nobody has time for drama. If you are feeling like you're confused about what to do next or where to go next, your guides are saying, choose you. I know it might be because part of me feels like I'm talking to like an Aquarius. If you have to choose between being a part of a crowd, going along with the crowd or doing you, doing you is always going to make you feel more comfortable. Okay. Because there's something here, even though you guys are people, people, with this take care of your needs, Gemini, you might have an issue. <laughs> Some of y'all like to be around people. Gemini are people, people. You like to talk to people. You like to be around people. Some of you guys may even be a part of the gossip. Sometimes air signs do like the gossip, right? It's air. It's communication. Libra, you too. Sometimes Libras can struggle with being on their own as well. Um, 
especially with that south node in Libra, that south node in Libra highlights the fact that people have had issues with people pleasing tendencies. We all do. We all have. Um, so because this is coming up in the energy, I'm getting that someone in this reading has chosen to close off or focus more on themselves. And I feel like people in the energy, people in your environment, people in your energy are either trying to get your attention or trying to stir the pot because you're changing, you're evolving, you're going within, you're figuring out where you want to be headed next. You know, you're you're embracing these divinely guided endings. You had an epiphany about what you want to do in your career or who you want to be. You've decided you want to change. You've decided you want to do something different. Some of you guys are getting downloads from a spirit guide. From an ancestor who has passed on. And this person is telling you to change. This ancestor could be a Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, um, I was going to say Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys have a spirit guide that's been giving you insight on what to do next or where to go. And I feel like what they're telling you to do is choose yourself. Some of you are being told to leave some sort of family dynamic out in the cold or move forward because there's people causing drama. And they could be causing drama because you're in this period of transition or changing. What's another word of advice for my air sign spirit? Look, Aries North Node. Ooh, come on now, y'all. Look at this. Look who you're supposed to be. A boss. <laughs> you're supposed to be the boss. You're supposed to be making bags of money you're supposed to be you're supposed to be um you know climbing the ladder there's an energy here too where it's like someone wants to give you money or this could be a parental figure as well you may be getting money from someone who has passed or a skill this is a skill this person is communicating with you from the other side. So with this overall energy for the end of July being the Ace of Cups and the Two of Wands, I really get it's time for you to explore new horizons, new ways of loving yourself, new ways of choosing yourself, new opportunities that make you feel fulfilled on an emotional level. Some of you guys are afraid of being judged for being a medium or a psychic or an intuitive. If not that, you're just an artist. You're something different. You're something that's unconventional. You might be either super religious or you're someone that does not fit the normal mold and people don't like this. So there are people around you that are arguing about this or competing with you or something like that. But you're being told to walk your own path. Take care of your needs. Some of you guys have water placements. Some of you can have a Scorpio placement yourself. The spirit animal that I got for the year of 2023 for Scorpio was the wolf. Some of you are dealing with someone that has a, a Scorpio placement or they are a Scorpio. Let's get the oracles. Or this is the spirit guide. For some of you, I'm hearing like a strong message that this is a spirit guide. And I'm hearing that it's a masculine spirit guide. Self-care for the air signs or self-care for my air signs, spirit. Self-care for my air signs. Watch a movie. Time to watch a movie, you guys. The number nine may be significant. Virgo or Virgo or nine. Libra may be significant. Also at the bottom, you have build strength. This could be intuitive strength, building your intuitive strength, but also working out. Some of you guys would benefit from going to the gym and working out. All right. June is significant. Gemini, Libra, not Libra. Gemini and Libra is significant, but Gemini and Cancer, my bad. My bad. 
I feel like people have an opinion of you that does not matter. Air signs. People think they know you. They don't know you. You know you or you're mastering yourself. Some of you guys are born in like a master number year. Oof. This actually came out for the earth signs. Love who you are. You also have demonstrate love. All right, 48. Somebody could be 48 in this reading. Somebody could also be born in December. Ooh. So you could also be born in December. Or you're dealing with someone born in December, Sagittarius or um, Capricorn. You also have eight. This is, again, August. So Leo and... I'm having brain farts. Leo and August. Virgo. All right, so let's see. Demonstrate love. Demonstrate love says, find out what is important to those you love and act on it. People often give clues about what is important to them. You can show your affection for someone by listening when they have a lot to say, going for a walk with them, helping them with their chores, or planning a vacation together. See, I said something about travel. I was picking up on that. Paying attention to what others are telling you can help you understand how to love them better. Create time for someone in your life, no matter what you have in your schedule. Make finding moments, make finding moments for those you love a priority. Those who love you understand you are busy, so when you change your day for someone, it does not go unnoticed. There are so many ways to show someone you are thinking of them. Send flowers, an email, text, or make a phone call. Preparing a favorite meal for someone or running an errand to alleviate stress are simple ways of showing your love. Yeah, so the universe is trying to get you guys to show more love at this time, air signs. If there is someone that you love in your environment or someone that you haven't been showing love to, this is the perfect time to do something without any anticipation of receiving anything in return. Just showing love is enough. Um, and I'm sure you're already doing that. Air signs are actually very loving people. You also have two. Some some people are like, nah. Somebody's watching this. Somebody is cross-watching right now. And they're like, no. I'm also getting two. Somebody's cross-watching. And they're like, don't tell the air signs to choose themselves. Choose yourself, air signs. It's okay. Um, you also have love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Absolutely. It says, be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are, and the energy of self-love will help you realize your dreams. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back or acknowledged that you love yourself? Working on having a good relationship with yourself will enable you to have a positive relationship with others how you manage your self-worth is crucial to how you view the world and your place in it love begins and ends with you how you treat and feel about yourself is a paramount is of paramount importance love is contagious you want to know what's crazy whose reading was it it must have been the earth signs and this reading for some reason the little like gossip energy that i'm picking up on it kind of gives me writer strike. Some of you guys are striking. Some of you guys are writers. You guys are taking a break from the job. You're taking a break from putting your content out or something like that because you're going against, uh, you know, the people who are not trying to support the writers and the actors and things like that. And if you are doing that, kudos, kudos to you. Um, but it says how you manage your self-worth is crucial on how you view the world and your place in it. Love begins and ends with you. How you treat and feel about yourself is of paramount importance. Love is contagious. When you are surrounded by people who are full of love, you may find it easier to love who you are. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you guys are being told to prioritize yourself, um, but also prioritize the things that you love, the people that you love, the parts of you that you love most. Do not diminish yourself to fit other people's mold that is not what living is for um and that's honestly not what this reading is about your guys really want you to take the time to go within um or to even to take some time to kind of pull back from the people who you don't resonate with to find the people that you do right to even find the connections where you do okay soul's journey messages oh Let's get a soul's journey message for my air signs. 
no shade to Gemini and Libra, though, for being um, <laughs> people people. Aquarius is also a people person, but because it's a fixed energy, and if you guys have fixed placements, then that would also resonate with you. Some of you are air signs that have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, or Aquarius in your chart. Um, but for those of you that have that energy in your chart, for fixed signs in specific, it is so much easier to operate alone because they just are stubborn. <laughs> They're just hella stubborn. All right. This is your soul's journey message. It says blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. All right. This is about accountability. Are you holding yourself accountable, air signs? Success. Who got this? I think fire signs. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Some of you guys need to know that right now when it comes to what it is that you want, especially when I was saying that that outside energy was giving me like ego death. Some of you guys have been aiming for the wrong things you may be aiming for attention you may be aiming for more money you may be aiming for um clout right you're looking for things that have to do with people validating you um and i'm getting that your ego is being died down right now or this is what was going on in july you were being put through some form of an ego death you may be going through this in august as well um some of this is because of venus retrograde as well i feel like a lot of people are becoming more in tune with their feelings but oh yeah especially for libra libra venus retrograde um you're definitely going through it you're being pulled to reevaluate your life and who you are and what you want because some of you guys have been surrounded by people that have been putting on shows for other people or um, who aren't being authentic, who aren't willing to be themselves. And I feel like you want to be yourself. Um, and if you haven't been yourself in the past, it's time to hold yourself accountable. All right. It's time to be who you are, your truest version of yourself. So you can find the people that you align with. Also, if people mistreat you, if people don't know your boundaries, if people don't honor your self worth Earth, if people don't know what you want, who who's going to tell them besides you? All right. Who's going to know what the issue is besides you? So whenever you hold back from telling people what's going on, because I definitely got that vibe with that throat chakra. Whenever you're holding back from telling people what's going on or what's wrong with you or how you feel, you only do yourself a disservice. All right. Also, when people play you or do you dirty after you've already completed certain cycles, only person you can blame is you. All right. The only person we can blame, me included, is us. So you have to hold yourself accountable for the things you entertain, the people you entertain, the things you go around, the things you've done wrong, the things you've done right, all of that. Let's get a mantra to close out this reading. Also, if you feel like you aren't in a, a field of work that you love or if you feel like you're in a relationship that you're not fully fulfilled in, again, hold yourself accountable. Remove yourself if need be. Talk to your partner. Ooh. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. <laughs> also you have at the bottom of the deck i feel like this is more fitting my fearless freedom lights up the world yes you being willing to stand alone you being willing to be a pioneer you being willing to take your own path to be yourself to be unique is going to be the thing that allows other people to light up it allows other people to want to be themselves. So do not hinder yourself when it comes to being authentic, speaking your mind, um, showing who you are to the world. All right. And support other people who are also in that energy. If you feel like somebody else is in that energy, give them props. It takes a lot to be yourself. It's very uncomfortable for people to show who they are or to even get on a platform and talk. You know, for the people who do choose to get on things and talk or share their work or share their art or own a business, you guys are doing some really monumental things. So give yourself some credit. All right. So. This is all that I have. 
Um, this reading was fun. This energy was interesting. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the month, um, which is only a day. Um, I also have, um, I also hope you have a wonderful August or rest of the year. Um, check the description box for my booking information. If you'd like to book a personal reading, or if you want to look out um, at my other social medias or just my pricing, anything like that. Also channel songs will be located down below. Like comment, share, subscribe. Um, especially if this message resonates, I would appreciate it. Um, what else? That's all I really got. <laughs> That's all I really got. Um, if it resonated, yeah, please comment or share or whatever it is that you want. Um, every ounce of support is appreciated. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Air Signs.